feeling what your opponent's going to do before he does it. Now, when you're in long range, kicking range and boxing range, the main attribute you need is your reflexes and you need sight reflex. You need to see what's going on before you can react to it. When you're getting close to trapping range, it's all feel. You're so close, everything's going to fly. So we do all these different sensitivity drills to develop the touch reflex. So you basically, you can have your eyes closed. And once you feel what your opponent's doing, you know how to counteract that, how to move around the obstructions, how to hit, how to trap his hands, how to do all those type of techniques we're going to cover. OK, the first drill I'm going to do is the swinging gates drill. This drill comes from Jeet Kune Do. This is one of Bruce Lee's early drills that was developed from his study of Wing Chun. So bring on Vic. This drill is going to show us how to go around obstructions, how to, when you feel pressure, to go with the pressure, go around the pressure, and keep going to your opponent. We never want to have to step back and hit. When we get in and we get mixed up, we don't want to come back. We want to always keep going forward, using forward pressure, and we're always moving in. So when I come in with the first punch, he's going to block that. I'm going to feel that, and I'm just going to come around, and I'm going to hit. So one more time, I come in with the right, and I come like that. So I go right hand, and I go around and I hit. Now I come with the left hand. I go around and I hit. So I can go right hand, I can go left hand. So I'm learning when I'm blocked that I keep moving forward. Boom. So I go right hand, left hand. Okay, now we go to the other hand. So I come in with the right, and I come around. Then I go to the left, and I come around. So right, then left. Now he can mix it up and he can block with either hand and I'm going to go around that block. So when I come in, I'm here and then I'm here like that. I go right hand, I feel that and I come in. So right hand, boom. Now I come in with the left hand. I feel that and I come around. So I go left hand, boom. I go right hand, I go left hand. I go right hand, I go left hand. Right hand, left hand. The next drill we're going to do is Don Chi Sao, which is your single sticky hand. Now, I teach this a little differently than the traditional Wing Chun. Instead of doing it with one hand on the hip and then going through the drill, I like to teach it from the clinch. When we clinch up in here like this, I come in with the punch and he's just going to do the Fook Sao. I'm going to palm, he's going to punch, I'm going to bomb Sao. Now, I know a lot of you guys know how to do this, so we're just going to go through this real quick. Tan Sao, he's in Fook Sao. I go to hit. He juts down. He punches up. I go to Bomb Sao. We go back to original position. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, you notice he's doing one part of the drill, and I'm doing the other part. So we want to put the first switch in. So now he gets to do my part, and I get to do his part. So when he fucks that down, I'm going to come around to this way. Now he's going to go. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now after we've done this a couple times, when I fuck down, he's going to switch. And then we're back in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. I switch. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and now he switches. So we're back in here, we're in the clinch, we're revving onto each other, and we're working this combat single sticky hand. Now, naturally, you can do this on both sides, left and right. We're just going to do this for now for the sake of time, but this is an idea of how to do sticky hand from the clinch. Okay, next drill we're going to do comes from Kali. We'll call this the wedge drill. We'll bring Vic on here. We're going to start out here like this. I'm going to smack his hand and I'm going to come in with a backhand. When that backhand is blocked, I'm going to shoot this hand in, maybe trying to go for the eyes, trying to work my way in. Then I'm going to smack and come back. So I raise, smack, and hit. I raise, smack, and hit. So what you're learning is when your shot is blocked, you're basically trying to keep going. You're not stopping and pulling back out into mid-range. You're learning how to keep functioning in close range. Now, naturally, in real combat, it would never go this long, but we're taking these little pieces of the drills, and we're using these to build up our attributes, 
in close range. So on my automatic pilot now, whenever I feel blocked, I just work on keep going in, keep trying to hit with that backhand. No matter how many times he blocks, I keep trying to throw that backhand in. Okay, now the first variation we're going to do on this wedge drill is what we call Seco wedge. We're going to put in the elbow also. We're going to work the elbow to the limbs. So when I start out here like this, when I smack, instead of going backhand, backhand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go elbow, backhand. I wedge, I smack, I elbow, backhand. Elbow, backhand. Wedge, smack, elbow, backhand. So I'm working on getting in. And now that I'm going around these obstructions, I'm also trying to throw a little disruption in while I'm moving around these blocks. So I elbow and I backhand, I elbow and I backhand. So now we can go back into this elbow wedge drill and we can try and throw some traps in just to mix it up. So when I'm in here, I can go elbow, backhand, wedge, smack, elbow, backhand. Every now and then, when I get that, I can just come in and hit. I go back into the drill, elbow, backhand, elbow, backhand, and then hit. So now I'm destroying, I'm removing obstructions, I'm trying to work my way in. And I hit. I can go on the other side. I can hit with that hand. I can hit with that hand. All right, the next drill we're going to do is the vertical gun tank drill. Now, we've covered the vertical gun tank on our stick fighting tape, doing it with the weapon. But now we're just going to do an empty hand. Vic comes out. When he comes in with the punch, I parry, I raise, I smack, and I hit. Now, he's going to parry, raise, smack, and hit. And we're just going to go back and forth like this. And we're working the sensitivity of the straight line. To keep going in straight. So this is our vertical glinting or straight punch. Slow that down a little bit. Vertical glinting. Okay, good. What we're going to do now is we're going to add what we call the inside tap drill. The inside tap is going to be a way of switching us from left to right on the vertical gun tank. Real slow, when we're doing the vertical gun tank, and we're in here like this. I go parry, raise, smack, hit. Parry, raise, smack, hit. Parry, raise, smack, hit. Now I'm going to parry, I'm going to raise, and I'm going to throw the other hand in. He's going to do an inside tap, and he's going to shoot it sharp at my neck. I'm going to block that and do a destruction. I'm going to raise this hand and then I'm going to throw this one in. So he's going to do an inside tap, he's going to come at my neck. I'm going to block and do a destruction. I'm going to raise and we're just going to repeat this. So it's inside tap, chop, destruction, raise, inside chop. So now this is the inside top, inside tap drill. From this inside tap drill, we can go into vertical gun tape, and I come back in like this. So we're working the vertical gun tape. Whenever I want to change this, I'm going to grab and go like that. And now we're in here. Now we're doing vertical gun tape on the left hand side. So we're on the left hand side now. I grab that and I hit. Now we're on the right side. I hit, I raise, and then I hit. So now I'm doing vertical gun tank on the left. I grab, I hit. Now we're doing vertical gun tank on the right. So one more time. I hit, I chop, I raise, and I hit. So this is a way of going from left to right.
Okay, the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take all the previous drills that we did and we're going to do them together into a little bit of a free flow. You notice on this whole dynamic college series, we always get into the free flow. You never want to be static. You always want to mix things up and improvise so you never know what's coming. And because that's all real combat is, is bits and pieces of different drills. If you work your attributes and you work the different drills, you're more than likely to come out ahead in the fight. Okay, we're working the vertical gun tank in here like this. From here, I can go elbow, backhand, elbow, backhand, and now we're back into vertical gun tank. So I go elbow, backhand, elbow, backhand, elbow, backhand, and now we're in vertical gun tank on the left side. So we're working here on the left side. I can grab that, throw that hand in, and now we're vertical gun tank on the right side. So I come in here and I chop, now we're vertical gun chain here. I can go elbow backhand, and I can just work the elbow and the backhand, and then come in with the straight punch. Doing the straight punch, I can just throw that in, he blocks that, boom, and now we're back in here. Elbow backhand, elbow backhand. So your partner never knows what's coming. You don't really know what you're going to do. You're just throwing it in. You're just working your sensitivity. You're trying to come up with different combinations. You're trying to stay in trapping range. You're trying to mix it up, do whatever comes. And it's just a matter of reacting. Your partner gets a good workout because he doesn't know what you're going to do. And then back into here. Okay, the next rule we'd like to do is the lopsaw cycle. I like to add the lop sal cycle from Wing Chun into our Filipino mixed martial arts system because it's a good overall drill for working the sensitivity and working in trapping range. Now, what's going to happen here is when we're working this vertical gun tank, when I grab that hand and come in, the first thing he did was he did an inside tap and he did a chop. What we're going to do now is when I'm here, when I throw in this punch, he's going to throw up the bomb sal. Bamasa comes from Wing Chun. In Filipino Kali, it's somewhat of a wing block done empty hand. Now, he blocks the shot with the Bamasa. He's going to grab, and then he's going to throw in the backhand. So now, we're going to do this. We're going to cycle back and forth, jamming that with this Bamasa. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So, after you get comfortable, doing this drill, we're going to get the first switch to the other side. We're going to call this the low lopsaw switch. When I'm down here like this and he's grabbing that hand, my hand that's doing the bombsaw is going to re-grab and I'm going to throw in the other side. So now we're going to cycle this lopsaw cycle on the left side. So we're on the left side, we're going back and forth. When I'm in this position here, I'm going to grab and I'm going to throw it here. So now we're going to continue the cycle this way. So this is the lop south cycle with the low lop switch. What I just did now is the high lop south switch. So when I come here, the minute he grabs my hand, I'm going to throw that punch and he's going to bomb south. So now we're back in here like this. This is the high switch. The high switch into the low switch. So this is all lopsaw cycle. Now we'll get back into the vertical gun tank and we're going to go into lopsaw cycle from vertical gun tank. So we're working this like this. I throw in the punch and he lopsaws. So now we cycle into this. There's the high switch, there's the low switch, and I just pack and I come back in. So we're going from here into this. We're on this side now. Back to this side. I pat and I come back in. So now we can mix everything up. We're here in vertical gun tank. I elbow backhand. I raise elbow backhand. Or I just do the backhand. So I'm working the backhands in on him. I'm doing elbow backhand. Elbow backhand. Go into vertical gun tank. Boom, went to vertical gun tank now. I grab, he can tap and hit. 
I grab, you can tap and hit. Okay, the next drill I want to get into is what we refer to as the Gagubad Lubad, which means to tie, untie, and you're know, blending the tying and the untying. Now, we covered this on the stick fighting tape, but we're going to get into this empty hand. I'm going to show you how we can go from the Hubad into the, all the other flows, and then we're going to start to do locks and throws and some other things out of all these drills. So, the first thing we do is I come in with this angle one shot, and he's going to block. He's going to raise, smack, and he's going to hit. Now I'm going to come in, one, two, three. So we're doing the angle one, so like one for one. I come in with the one, he comes in with the one. One, one. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in with the angle two. So he's going to raise, smack, and angle two. So we're so doing angle two, now we're back to the angle one. The next thing I'm going to add is the angle four. So when I come here, I'm going to come four. He's going to block that. He's going to come four. I'm going to block that. So we're going to go one for four. One four. So we have the angle one. We have the angle four. One four. We have the angle two. Two. One four. Now the next thing we add is the angle five, which is the vertical gun tank. So we're doing the vertical gunting, which is our angle five, back into the one. I come in with a two, and then we're back in here. So we're basically flowing around with the hoopa, low shots, the middle shot, and we're coming in like this. So it becomes like a little sparring contest. I don't know what's coming. He doesn't know what's coming. And we're working it like this. Okay, good. Now we're going to start to add some of the other drills from here. We're here in Hubud. When I come in with the two, when he blocks that, I'm just going to raise and I'm going to go into my backhand drill. So here's the wedge, backhand, elbow wedge, elbow wedge, back into Hubud. We're back in the hoobud. We're coming with the vertical gun chain. He blocks. Now we're in the double tap on the inside. Boom. And now we're back in hoobud. I come in with the straight punch. I come in with the backhand. I raise. I come back, raise. Now we're back in here. Next thing we're going to add is the lock south cycle. So I'm going to lock, and he's going to go right in here. So now we're in here like this, I switch to this side, I switch back to this side, and now we go right back into our hula. Backhand, low shot, to five. And so it's just a little free flow. He doesn't know what's coming, I don't know what's coming, and we're just flowing, working this in trapping range like this. Okay, one more thing I want to give you guys. I want to show you in hoobud that everybody's used to doing hoobud in this right-handed thing. Right hand, right hand, his right hand, your right hand, his right hand. Now I'm going to show you how to switch the hoobud into the left side. So you'll be able to do hoobud righty into lefty into righty into lefty. And this will really coordinate you. Okay, when we're here doing hoobud, I block, he blocks. When I block, when he comes in and I block, I'm going to take that left hand and I'm going to try and come in with a punch. And he's just going to switch 
and now we're in Hubud on the left side. So we're doing Hubud on the left side. Left, left. When we come here, I take my right hand and I push it into punch. So now we're on the right side. So I do that again from here. Now we're on the left side. Now we're on the right side. We go like this to the left side, and here to the right side. Now naturally we can add this into all of our other drills, going to the lopsaw cycle, into the wedge, into the elbow, doing all these other drills, changing the angles on the Uba, and switching from the right side, switching to the left side, here, back to the left side, back to the right side. So push that in, push that in. So this is the change from Uba from lefty to right. Okay, now the next drill I want to show you guys is what we call the Seco Seco drill. This is the elbow version of Hubud. So we bring Vic in. When Vic comes in with the elbow, I'm going to block that elbow. I'm going to raise, which when I raise, I'm really trying to strike underneath the tricep. I'm going to raise, I'm going to cover that, and then I'm going to elbow. So he's going to block, he's going to raise, he's going to cover, and he's going to elbow. So it's the basic same pattern as doing the Hubud. So we're working the Seco Seco drill. We're throwing the elbows in. Now, here while we're doing Seco Seco, we're very close. So I can step out and we can come into Huba. Come in with the low shot. Now, right like that, I step in with the elbow. Now coming in to vertical bunting. And I just wing in an elbow. So I'm throwing in the elbow. Coming back out, I can come in with the double tap drill, and then come in with that elbow. We we'll come out in Hoopa. We're in here in Hoopa. I can come elbow backhand, elbow backhand, back into Hoopa, into vertical gun tank, into the double tap drill like this, and I throw in an elbow. Okay, now that we covered all these different types of sensitivity drills, we're going to go back into them. We're going to start to put in some different traps, some different locks, and some different things out of motion. Because remember, if you really want to get these things down for the street, you never want to do them static. with someone just coming in with a punch and you're doing a technique. When you're doing the sensitivity drills, you have all these things are moving around. You have to kind of find a place to fit in take his limb and do what you want. So it's always better to do something out of a free flow than do it out of static motion. So we'll start out here in Hoopa. First thing I want to do in Hoopa is when I come in the backhand, I'm just going to do what we'll call lop style and I'm going to hit. I'm going to go back in. So when I come in with that backhand, I reach over and I grab, I trap him and I hit. We come back in here. So we can be working the Hoopa. I come in with the trap, I hit, I elbow, I headbutt, and then we come right back into Huba. We can come here in Huba, when he blocks that shot down there, I can just come over here and do the lock. I can come in here this way, we go right back into Huba. Here, like this, like this, and then back into the Huba. Here into vertical gun tank. Here I can come into an arm bar, and come right back in to vertical gun tank. We're here in Huba, I come in, I trap, I hit, I thumb the eye, I headbutt, I elbow, I headbutt, and we go right back into Huba. I do an arm bar, I go here into figure four, and then come right back in into the Huba. I come with the backhand, smack it in this way, and hit, 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 and come back into Huba. So one more time, I come in, I hit, I hit, I hit, and I come back into Huba. I lop sound, I hit, I thumb, and come back in. We can be out here like this. I can take the hand and go into a wrist lock. I can take the wrist and come back like that, and go back into Huba. So one more time, I take the hand, I go into a lock, and go right back into Huba. I can take him, I can grab the thumb, I can go into a come along, I can wrench it out, I can come down here like this, and we go right back in. 
I come out here like this, he does a double tap, and I take the arm and now I lock it on this side. Do a figure four on this side, and then we go right back into hoopa. So you see, we can do any of the traps we want out of here. We can do locks, we can do lock flows, we can do all of these things. We can take them down to the ground if we want, and then we go right back into the flowing with the hoopa. Here's the backhand drill. I'm doing the wedge backhand. I hit, I onboard, and now we're back into the hoop butt again. So this is the perfect way of mixing up your training, trying to do things out of motion as opposed to trying to do things static with someone just coming at you. What we're going to do now is we're going to do some sensitivity and grappling range. We're going to deal with the stick and we're going to do some lock flow drills using the stick and then we'll make our way back to empty hand. So this is the on-ball flow with the stick. When Vic comes in, when he comes in with the one, I'm just going to hit and I'm going to switch just to get the drill started. I'm going to come here into this on-ball like this. Now, before we get to the point of no return, because once you get to what we call the point of no return, you can't count it a lot. But right before we get there, Vic's going to hook my arm with the butt of the stick, and then he's going to count to the on-ball to me like this. Now, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to grab his hand and I'm going to pull the stick through and I'm going to have the arm ball like this. So now he's going to take this hand and he's going to grab and he's going to put the arm ball on me. I'm going to use the stick, I'm going to hook the butt and I'm going to put the arm bar on him. Now he can use the butt, put the arm bar on me. I can use the butt and I can come out of that here. So using the butt real quick, he uses the butt, he kind of steps out of the pressure, and he puts it on me. I kind of take this step out this way, and I put the arm bar on him. Now we're just going to go back and forth, flowing using the first switch, using the butt of the stick. So he switches on me, I step out this way, and I switch on him. So now he's going to switch, I'm going to come out, and I'm going to switch here like that. So we're just going to go back and forth, the first switch, now I switch, and he switches, now I switch, and then we just go back and forth like this. Okay, now the next switch is when he's down here like this, I'm going to grab for that hand, I'm going to drag the stick across the midsection, I'm going to come down here. So he's going to use his empty hand, and now he's going to do the switch. So he comes up and he switches on me. I use the butt, I get out of that, and I switch like this. So now he's going to use the butt. I'm going to take his hand, I'm going to come through the midsection, and I'm going to come like this. Now he's going to switch using his hand. I'm going to switch like this. He's going to take my hand and he's going to come across the midsection. Boom. Now he's here. So now I use my empty hand, and now he uses his empty hand. I use my empty hand, he uses his empty hand. I take the stick, I come across like this, he can grab my hand, hit across the midsection, put the arm ball. So I come low, I come here like this, he can use his hand, I come out and I do the lock, he can grab, hit across like that. I come out this way, across the midsection, he's got the arm ball. Now I come out. This is what we call a Quincy flow. We're just going back and forth. We're kind of improvising. I don't know how I'm going to get out of it. I don't know exactly what he's going to do next. But we're just isolating the arm bar, and we're going back and forth into flowing this drill. Okay, now we're going to do this on ball flow drill empty handed. Come in with Vic. When I take here in the on ball like this, now we have two positions. I have the one hand that's on top, and I have my right hand which is here on the bottom. So he can do the switch like we did before from either hand. So the first switch we're going to do is he's going to use the lower hand, he's going to grab, he's going to step out, and he's going to do the on ball. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bend my arm to get out of the pressure. I'm going to grab his arm. I'm going to step out. And I'm going to do the arm bar. So now he's going to step out. And he's going to do the arm bar. So now I step out and do the arm bar. One more time. So now he goes arm bar, arm bar, arm bar. And we're here like this. So we switch it again. One. Now I come out. And we switch here. Okay, now the next switch is we're going to use this hand. To relieve the pressure of me putting my forearm in his tricep, he's going to grab the other hand. He's going to pull it out. He's going to go right into the arm bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that. I'm going to come out and I'm going to go into the arm bar. So now he's going to do it. Now, if you notice, it almost looks like the lopsided drill that we did earlier. Okay, so we got that switch. Now I come out, I do this switch. He can do that switch. I can come out and go into this switch. He can do that switch. I can come out to this switch. He can pick a switch to that way. Now I come to this way. From this way, I step out to that way. And this is switching on the arm bar drill. Okay, now another variation of this arm bar flow drill is where we're going to introduce the figure four into it. So I have the arm bar here like this. Now, before we get into the other counters, I'm going to go right into a figure four. Now, here's my figure four. Before he gets into the point of no return where he can't counter, he's going to push my elbow away. So, I'm going to come back down into the arm bar. From the arm bar, I go into figure four, and he's going to push that away, and we come back down. So, we're just going to flow this back and forth. This is another type of sensitivity training in grappling range. So we come down here, I come back up, and I come down here like this. Now what's going to happen is he's going to use his right hand and he's going to switch. So he's going to come out and he's going to bring me down into the arm bar. Now he's going to go into figure four, but I stop that. We go back down, he goes into figure four, I stop that. And he keeps going back and forth from the arm bar. When the figure four doesn't work, he goes back to the arm bar. Figure four, that doesn't work into the arm bar. That doesn't work, he's here. Now, instead of going with the low switch, I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to come here like this. Now, I'm going to go into figure four, he's going to counter it, I come down to the arm bar. Figure four, he counters it, I come down to the arm bar. Figure four, arm bar. Now, he's going to take this hand and he's going to do the switch. So it's arm bar, figure four, arm bar, into the figure four, back to the arm bar. He gets the arm ball, I'm going to switch, and I'm going to go to figure four. He's going to push that away, I'm going to come back down. I go here, he's going to push that away, I'm going to come back down. Now he's going to switch. And now he's in the arm ball, he goes to figure four. I counter that, back to figure four, back here. I'm going to counter that. Now I go into figure four, pushes it away, I come down. Figure four, I come down. Now he's going to switch. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you another flow, counter for counter, that we're going to do with the figure four. When I have Vic in the arm bar, and I go into my figure four, you saw before he pushed my elbow away to counter, and then I went back into an arm bar. Now what happens is when he pushes that elbow to get out of figure four, this hand is going to reach under and it's going to take that. Now I'm going to switch to figure four on this side. So before we get to the point of no return, he's going to push my arm away. I'm going to reach in there. And I'm going to take figure four on this side. So he's going to push it. And I'm going to take figure four like this. So we're just going to do this as a flow. We come one, two, to this side, to this side, back to this side. And we just flow going back and forth. Now any time he goes to counter, I can reach under here like this. When he goes to counter, I can come back down like this. I can come up 
into figure four, he can counter me. I can grab it and do figure four like this. When he goes to counter, I can come down like to there. I can come up into here, he can counter. I go to figure four on this side. He counters again, but I come down into an arm bar. So I have the arm bar into figure four. I counter the figure four to this side. He counters. I come down here. I come up to figure four. He counters. I put it to figure four there. He counters. And I take it down here like that. Figure four. I go to figure four. He counters. And I come down like this. For the figure four. I reach over. And I figure four this way. He counters. And I take it down. Now I go back to figure four. To figure four. To the figure four to the figure four. So now when I'm countering the figure four to figure four, I go figure four, I go figure four, I come to figure four. Now what we can do is what we did in the grappling is we just take them down and we can go into all the different flows we had from here on the ground. Okay guys, the last thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to all the different flow drills. We're gonna mix them with the traps, with the locks. We're gonna mix it with the different lock counter flow drills that we just did. So we're here in Hubad, we're working vertical gunting. I can go into the lop sow cycle from here, and we're doing lop sow. From here, I can go into my arm bar, he can counter the arm bar. I can counter the arm bar, he can counter the arm bar. I can counter the arm bar, go to figure four. I go to figure four on this side, I go to figure four on this side, and I come right back out into Hubud. I can come with the backhand, trap, come back into Hubud. I'm here in Hubud. I come up with the one lock. I can do the next lock. I can come into a come along. I can arm wrench. Oh wow, we're here in the arm bar. Back up to figure four, count to figure four, to figure four, and I just come right back into Hubud. Here's my vertical gun tank. I go into the backhand drill. Into an arm bar. He can counter the arm bar. He puts me in figure four. I get out of that. I go to figure four. And put it in here like this. Figure four. I step back. We go back into Luba. So you see we can take all these things. We can mix it around. I can come here into an arm bar. I can go to figure four and I can take them down to the ground, and we can end it there. 